All right, YouTube subscribers, my name is Ray Sean, known as Ray Liz on Facebook, also known as Mr. Ceiling Fan Man 1999 on YouTube. Now, what's going on is that I'm doing a demonstration of my 42 inch white and polished brass Hampton Bay Bridgeton Ceiling Fan. Now, due to the fact that I was too lazy to um put the light put the light kit onto the ceiling fan. So um, that's why I just left the switch cap onto the ceiling fan. So therefore, I'm just going to do a video of the ceiling fan showing without the light kit. So um, other than that, this ceiling fan right here, now the features about this fan is that it has five reversible blades from white to bleach oak and it is three speeds and is electrically reversible. And it features a three speed pull chain switch and it features a forward and a reverse switch. And this ceiling fan right here, I kinda, well, I did it the lazy way. Like um, I left the canopy screwed onto the motor housing and I got the ceiling fan hanging on a down rod cause I was too lazy to take the canopy off the motor housing. So, uh, so that's why the ceiling fan looked the way it looked right now. But as you can see, that this canopy right there is something that I screwed onto the fan. No, the canopy is screwed on to the fan and I left it screwed on the fan. So um, other than that, now the information about this ceiling fan is that this ceiling fan was manufactured by SMC. And this ceiling fan was made in China back in April of 1996. April of 1996 is the date of the ceiling fan. So this is the earlier version of the Hampton Bay Bridge 10. Now this ceiling fan is kind of like a clone of the SMC Windsor ceiling fan model MR42. Cause this ceiling fan is basically an SMC Windsor ceiling fan model MR42 relabeled as a Hampton Bay Bridge 10. So, um, other than that, I'm about to go on and on, um, demonstrate this fan, starting off with low. Now, this ceiling fan has a fast low speed, which is something what I really don't like about this fan. But the bright side is that it's putting out a good amount of air now, due to the fact that I seen these ceiling fans on YouTube, so I thought that the blades would be a lot wider because that's how the blades look on these ceiling fans on YouTube until I saw the ceiling fan in person and the blades are skinnier and the blades are a lot skinnier than the blades on the actual SMC Windsor ceiling fan. Now, due to the fact that I didn't even tighten the screws on the coupler, so the ceiling fan does have a wobble to it. Yeah, it has a wobble to it, so, um, but it is actually putting out a good amount of air. It's probably because this was back then when Hampton Bay was some, was a good fan company back then. But then as the year started going up, then that's when the fan company Hampton Bay started going down the hill. So, um, this ceiling fan right here, not only that it was manufactured by SMC, so due to the fact this fan was manufactured by SMC, so the blade brackets that you see on this fan is the shape of a letter D. And then I remember that some guy named Aiden, I, f I forget his YouTube username, but he has a video of a Hampton Bay Bridge the ceiling fan manufactured by SMC. And it's a clone of this ceiling fan that I'm showing you but his is dated April 1997, and mine's is dated April 1996. So mine's and his ceiling fan was manufactured in the same month, but they was manufactured a year apart. So um, this ceiling fan, it would originally use the SMC pool as back then, the Hampton Bay ceiling fans manufactured by SMC used the SMC pools. So um, other than that, 
I'm about to go in and uh, put this fan on medium. Excuse my face for being in the camera. I'm about to go in and put it on medium. Now, I got this ceiling fan from the Habitat Restore. And it is not the Habitat Restore that I used to go to where I was testing out as many ceiling fans that I could test out. But this, but, but I got this fan from a different Habitat for Humanity Restore, which is out in another city, but in the same state that I live in. So that's where I got the ceiling fan from. And then, so this is another, so this is another white and polished brass Hampton Bay Bridge to ceiling fan that I have. So um, I want to say this is two of two of my have to bay Bridgetons, as I have another have to bay Bridgeton ceiling fan manufactured by SMC, but that ceiling fan is a transition transitional version of the have to bay Bridgeton, cause this is the original version of the have to bay Bridgeton. Now, I think that the later version of the have to bay Bridgeton uses the same blade brackets as the Hampton Bay menu with two ceiling fan uses. And then the later version has a different design and a different architecture, but it's the same brand and the same collection name. So um, other than that, I just got this fan running on medium and it's really not a whole lot what I have to say about this fan other than the fact that the blank switch cap that you see on this fan is the blank switch cap that went to my Emerson Pro Series 2 ceiling fan that I no longer own anymore as I installed that ceiling fan in my aunt's apartment. So um, other than that, I'm about to go in and um, put this fan on high speed. <laughs> Now this ceiling fan, it does run quiet. It just has a little hum to it. And it kind of does have a little bearing noise to it. But other than that, this ceiling fan, it's putting out a decent amount of air. Now, if you are wondering where that long down rod came from that I'm using on this fan, the long down rod actually came off of a craft made Phoenix ceiling fan that was dated September 1997 that I farted out. And then I also forgot to point, point out to you guys that this ceiling fan has the original Hampton Bay logo on the switch housing that's a lot of Hampton Bay ceiling fans from the 90s did. And these ceiling fans, they was originally sold at the Home Depot, but this is a discontinued model, so they don't make ceiling fans like these anymore. And they stopped marking them because this is a discontinued model. So um, other than that, I'm about to go in and uh, turn it on fan off. That's the improper way of me saying that I'm about to power it off. When I said I'm about to put it on fan off. Now I usually don't like to show spin downs on the fan because spin downs are not really my thing. And plus it isn't going to do anything but make the video more longer. But I'm just only doing it because the video was kind of short because it's not a whole lot what I had to say about this fan other than the fact that I always wanted to have one of these, the earlier version of the Have to Bay Bridge 10. As I remember seeing these on YouTube a lot because this gentleman by the YouTube username of Max's channel, he did a video of a Have to Bay Bridge 10 ceiling fan back on the second quarter of 2012. And then so he, yeah, so he did have this fan and he said that he wasn't really sure whether the ceiling fan was either a bridge tin or a bridge port. 
But somebody said, but somebody commented on this video and said that this is definitely a Hampton Bay Bridge to seal a fan. And then not only is that, and then it's another Hampton Bay Bridge to seal a fan that I ran into on you. I mean, it's dangerous. It's another Hampton Bay Bridge to seal a fan and white and polished brass that I did a video of back in the fall of 2016 and white and polished brass. And that ceiling fan was a clone to this ceiling fan. But the only difference is that it had the same blade brackets that you will see on the Hampton Bay menu with two ceiling fans. And that ceiling fan was manufactured by CEI, which stands for Composites Industries. This Hampton Bay Bridge to ceiling fan I'm showing you on video, this one was manufactured by SMC, which stands for Shell Manufacturing Electrical company or cooperations or whatever the heck SMC stands for. I can't remember the long name and stuff. But other than that, I just about ran out of what I had to say. So I'm about to go on and end the video. So this is Mr. Ceiling Fan Man 1999 signing out this video and I am out.